Oh yeah. Dude. Productive morning here at Corridor Digital. All right, let's just see how it goes. Aim it at Nick. <laughs> so we have a certain thing going on in the office where certain people, when they come over, will attack us with Nerf guns. Oh shit! Oh, I'm down. <laughs> All we have right now is little piddly Nerf guns to protect us. And we need to step up our game. Who doesn't like making traps? Like, ever since you watched Home Alone, you've always wanted to make a trap, right? <laughs> well, we're going to build a Nerf mine. It's also going to be a minefield for everybody else who's in the game of life, because we're gonna be saying the word mine a lot. <laughs> but I'm not in the game. And if you're wondering what the heck the game of life is, anytime someone says the word mine, they have to do 10 push-ups. Also, once you're in it, you're in it for life. So I went online, I did a bunch of research, I found a couple different models on Thingiverse, and there's one in particular that I like. It's uh, by this guy named Propter Hawk. It's a remix of another design by Ian Graydon and Anthon Redbeard. You have like a dart holder and a, like a plunger and a bunch of rubber bands and a pin. And when somebody steps on a trip wire, it pulls the pin and goes poof and shoots all the darts. So I was actually the last one here in the office last night working on this lookup table pack that we're uh, gonna be selling on creativepresets.com. Link in the description below. And I actually set it up to print overnight. So let's go see how it turned out. Nick was really surprised. <laughs> Whoa. All Whoa. right. Dude, it looks like you printed a revolver. I wanna break these. Yeah, these look very easy to break. Those are little nerf pushers. That little might. Little nerf pushers. As long as they don't crank on them, we'll probably be fine. I think it's like peel that. Uh, ooh. Gooey? Yeah, it is. Okay, you can see it when you look at the bottom of the glass, you can see where it starts coming off. So Ren, just give us a recap. What what is Nico printed here? <laughs> Nico has printed a nerf claymore. Alright. Piece one, this is the trigger. See when I pull on the bottom here, you can start to see it coming off. I'm not gonna <laughs> You think it's gonna shatter? Well, I, I, no, I'm afraid you're gonna do like one of these things where they're like, Brah! I have lots of control, Ren. You really glued it. Ooh, risky. Risky business. So do we have rubber bands? Yes, we do need rubber bands. I don't know if we have any. The way this works, boom. So the Nerf darts sit in this thing, and then this is loaded with rubber bands. And then there's a pin here that will hold it in place. When the pin gets pulled, that slams forward and it launches all the nerfs. Nerfs, all the nerfs. All the nerfs. Launches all the darts. You go finish putting this together here. Isn't that the thing from your bedroom? Yeah, I was just sitting up the counter and dropping my bedroom. Oh, I'm moving out, I got, a, I got a new place. For the first time in you 10 years you're that. moving. I've been living in downtown in this very building. You were living on the other side of that wall. Yeah, in fact, your bedroom's right there. I bought a house in LA and it's a huge move and I finally moved everything out and I'm finding there's lots of things that I had that I no longer need or use or whatever and this gun happened to be one of them. So here's what happened. The entire time that Sam lived upstairs, he had my gun on his wall, putting it back in my hand. Oh, this is yours? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cleaning up the place. I'm like, hey, isn't this yours? And he's like, thank gosh. That didn't fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a real gun. It's super antique. It's a Lee Enfield. It's like a British gun. Yeah, normally there's like a small magazine or something that goes here, but you can see it's all sealed up right here because this one was modified as effectively a, a riot gun. The chamber of the weapon has been modified to shoot 410 shotgun shells, which are these very thin, tiny shotgun shells. And it's only one shot at a time. You have to put the, sh the shell in right there. You load it in and it shoots. So I've been wanting to find a way to cast some fairly simple gun props. A Lee Anfield, this is like just nondescript enough so that I could like change a couple things around it. And it doesn't need to be perfect at all, but like once you paint, paint it up. Paint it and it's good for the background. Yeah. Cool old piece of history. Yeah. Wow. World's most expensive rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be really intense. Dude. Okay, we'll see. Sam, can you put the toothpick between where do you put this? It goes between here, this little divot, and here, this little divot. Like this? Mm -hmm. Like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's armed right now. Moment of truth. I don't want like, to get stabbed by the toothpick. You won't. Here. You might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Productive morning here at Corridor Digital. So we can get a bigger like stick or something, and then it'll go back even further. All right, let's just see how it goes. Aim it at Nick. Ah! <laughs> 
That seemed like it was gonna be a little bit more intense. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Considering how much pressure you're like, uh, 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 like trying to pull it back. Um, we need some more bongos, dude. Is that, were the two, oh, this is the toothpick. It's broken. I think we need to use a nail, Nico. I don't want a nail to go flying into somebody's like leg. We, we can clip the end of it. Okay. What are the best lots available? <laughs> Uh, the easy answer to that is you can find the best sluts available at creatorpresets.com. Actually, they're not the best sluts available. Uh, I'd actually give those to other luck of table packs. But they're pretty dang good, because we worked on them here in Corridor Digital. Some of our most popular videos, we have made presets of the color grades for you guys. So if you want to check them out, we have nine look up tables for you over at creatorpresets.com. Go check them out for yourself. Link in the description below. Nico, how did test one go? Mm, it was a little underwhelming. I mean, you were there. You saw it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Sam. Okay. <laughs> they were there. They saw it. It was embarrassing. <laughs> they got nails work, right? <laughs> hey, I'm a tutorial. I got no tutorial. <laughs> oh yeah. I've doubled the bongos. The bongo ratio is far, uh, far too low. Put your nail in there. God damn, dude, I'm gonna get punctured. A little further, a little further. Okay, it's not gonna work that No, dude. This thing is about to explode once I let go. You see that? Do you oh. see that tension? Oh. This thing is like, <laughs> this is so <laughs> dangerous. Like, whoever designed this trap is insane. <laughs> so let me show you why this is terrible. Flip this forwards and it releases the nail. So the nail's pushing this way. The nail itself <laughs> gets pushed forward at the same speed and velocity and everything that the darts are being pushed at. I think the darts are going to hit the wall with the amount of bongos we've added. Okay. I think the nail is gonna make it halfway to the wall. I think the nail's gonna flop on the ground right there and I think the darts are gonna make it halfway to the wall. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just okay. gonna one single strike. Three, two, one. Oh, miss. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. The nail went backwards. Dude, so unpredictable. <laughs> See, the nail was flung in the, the same flung. direction. You can get hit by Nerf darts and nails. I know, so it's technically it shoots seven. You don't things. have to use a nail, by the way. It's a dirty. <laughs> it's a dirty <laughs> Nerf bomb. <laughs> yeah, the Hasbro guys are gonna love this. Nerf, gas attack. <laughs> These are all the pitches. Dude, Nerf GM. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. As you might know, we were in New York this past weekend for the Madden 18 launch event. And you also might know that we got Xboxes. We said in the video, let us know if you think Carmichael should have it for all the hard work he's been doing on the channel, or if we should give it away. And honestly, I'm super impressed by how many of you said Carmichael deserves the Xbox. That's right, Carmichael. Come here. You are now the proud owner of a brand new Xbox One S. Xbox Boy. What does the S stand for, Scorpions? I thought it stood for Scorpio or whatever. It turns out it's just slim, so. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I haven't had an Xbox since high school. So. Thank you, everyone. I have a video game console. I'm in the future. How much line do we want? You want to do a test in here and just set it up like on this shelf? Well, so we need to trip it. That's what I'm saying. And you put it like right here. Right here and just see if it works. It's like right here. Perfect. Okay. So you're going to arm it? Is that on the trigger? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> that thing shot out some force, man. Paintbrush handle is gonna be a little bit more safe. Here, can you grab the string from the other side of this door? We'll just yell, Ren, we need battery help. It's a taut wire. Life is filled with uncertainties. Sometimes you just gotta take a risk. Especially when you can entertain other people in the process. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Let me try to get him to go in first. It's so obvious. You can see <laughs> turn this on. Still picking up that shine. You don't look at it. I mean, if it doesn't work, then try someone else. I'm so bad at like getting people to come in here, though. I need to go out here. Just come with me as I talk to like renters. Okay, let me get Sam. Sam can come in here. Sam's gonna know. He was here when we were filming. No, no. I think I'll. I'll just come on. <laughs> Yo, I think we got a better design. Check What's it up? out. Whoa. Flame ordinance. Are there more nails? In use. They frequently here. Nah, nah, I'm not standing there. Well, first off, you stopped. I know. You I stopped, I, and so I stopped. I told you. I kept slowing down, but Sam kept slowing down too. Nice distraction. Like, oh, is there, what are you, are you gonna talk about? Something? <laughs> Distract you? We need to get somebody else in here. So 
so we're all gonna focus on something over here, which will make Ren not hover at the door, he'll just burst in. I'm gonna ask him if he can tell me what this thing is. Okay. I'm just like, hey Ren, do you know what this thing is? Hey Ren! Hey Ren! Yo Ren, Ren, Ren! Hey, do you know what this thing is? Right here? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, good work, guys. Good work. <laughs> I feel betrayed, but impressed. That was good. I didn't see that at all. Oh my god. Did you get hit with the nail? <laughs> no, no, we're not using a nail anymore. No, I didn't know okay. my nail, but I definitely okay, got hit no by good. a bunch of darts. Oh my god. They tried to get me, but the problem is that they, they tried to bring me in from the front. And then we realized we're all in here, like we have someone to focus. Look in here. You know? Yeah, now the way he did it worked well. Like, cause you drew my attention. What are you talking about? 